Well, Mermaid Cottage, it's time to go. It's been awesome. I'm um, leaving Florida now, heading back to Arizona. Um, Florida, you have challenged me in ways that I could never imagine that I would be challenged. Seriously, I'm usually pretty stubborn and can handle whatever. But humidity, mosquitoes, hurricane, uh, flooding, the whole nine. It was, it was a challenge the first few months. But now that it's getting perfect and beautiful, I'm leaving. Bummer. But in, all in all, I got everything done I wanted to get done. I met some amazing people, and I was really, really blessed to stay in this beautiful house um, of Susie's. So thank you, Susie. And um, time to get on the road again. Heading to Georgia. We'll get to Georgia today. And that's what I'll do in my next video. So all right, onward. Bye. Oh, and just to continue, uh, so last time I did Cars, Cats, and Cargo, um, I got them little cat houses this time. I think it's gonna work a lot better. And they've got this like flat area to hang out and they can go back in the trunk. So it's gonna, I think it's gonna be a lot better. So anyway, we shall see. All right, bye. Georgia, Georgia, Georgia on my mind. Georgia. Made it to Georgia, people. Camping in Georgia. Alright. Good night. Alright, so what are we on? Um, first night down, I'm heading to Smoky Mountain National Park, and I was going to be trying to be all badass and rough it in the tent because I was like, no, I gotta stay in Rocky Mountain National Park. And camping in Georgia last night, I realized that I need to acclimate because I've been in Florida and Arizona for like the last year. And um, yeah, it was cold. <laughs> so I'm gonna get a cabin. So I'm heading to a cabin, which will be really peaceful, really nice, nice for the cats, nice for me. So onward, um, still gonna be in Georgia. So still dreaming and thinking in Georgia. All right. See you in Rocky Mountain National, I mean Smoky Mountain National Park. All right, bye. Morning. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Hello. Okay, and welcome to my cottage. I decided to get a cabin because it's going to be really cold tonight. And why not just be comfortable? Especially for my cats. So anyway, it's super cute. It's really, really cute. There's a KOA right next to uh, the Smoky Mountain National Park. And I'll give you a tour. There's my book I'm going to read right now. Thanks, Danny. Where else? Um... My cabin. Hello. See, they already look comfortable. So nice. It's heated, which is amazing. It has a TV, which is super weird. Why would you want a TV in a cabin? But I don't know. Um, anyway, so at least I get the life of luxury for a night. There's my little cabin tour. Cats will be happy tonight. So, okay, cool. All right, bye. <laughs> That's my cabin. All right, Smoky Mountain National Park. I'll take uh, pictures and video of the park tomorrow. All right, bye. All right, I'm at Look Rock. It's called Look Rock um, at Smoky Mountain National Park. So pretty. I'll take a bunch more videos, but the colors are just awesome. So good to see mountains again. Hi, mountains. Oh, I missed you. Okay, bye. Okay, so anyway, this is a, the halfway or the whatever, the three quarter way point to the observation tower or basically the lookout tower um, that I just went to. I just didn't wanna talk up there because people were like, you know, having a nature moment. I have my nature moments. I don't wanna talk and annoy them. But anyway, um, yeah, it was super beautiful. It was like a 360 view of everything and they were kind of talking about air pollution up there on a plaque, which was really great. I love that kind of stuff because they were reminding people that like, you'd be able to see everything and now there's always this haze constantly and it's all because of, um, you know, air pollution, coal, and uh, industry, and just general pollution. But anyway, so it's super sad. But um, I just wanna do a video and just kinda hear and show you that um, Smoky Mountain National Park is the most visited national park in the country. Um, at least that's what someone told me and I think I read. Um, so anyway, so I'm there, Smoky Mountain National Park, um, and I'll take some more video tomorrow when I go to, um, I think it's called Cade Cove or something. Um, it's like a drive around loop that you can do and I'll try to take some pictures and some video. So anyway, it's pretty, super, super pretty. I'll go back.
forget. Let me come back in. So anyway, I'm driving on Cades Cove Loop right now, which is part of um, Smoky Mountain National Park. It's a scenic 11 mile driving route. Since I can't really hike because I have, you know, the U-Haul and the cats and stuff like that, I figured this way I could get like a good feel of some wildlife in Smoky Mountain National Park. Um, so anyway, so I'll take some videos on it. Goodbye. Cabin number two, still in Tennessee. Um, it's my last night in Tennessee and then tomorrow I'll be in Arkansas. So this is super cute cabin. The KOAs are really awesome. I'm kind of considering doing the membership, but I think it only saves like 10%. But anyway, nice cabin. It's cold outside, it's worth it. It's by the highway, so sleeping in a tent tonight would have been brutal. Um, but they're worth it. They're not, they're not a lot of money. So it's, I think they're nice, you know? Cheaper than a hotel, nice than a tent, bam. Bam. Okay, so anyway, home of, oh God, so many. Like um, Johnny Cash, Patsy Cline, Loretta Lynn, I think. I saw all these signs. Elvis. Um, I think, I want to say my favorite band, Days of the New, but I don't think so. I think they're Kentucky, but I can't remember. But anyway, music state, super beautiful state. One of these days I will take an assignment here and I'll actually fully enjoy Tennessee. Do some hiking, do some camping, go see all the music legends and museums and history. Amazing barbecue, which I may or may not be able to partake just because of money right now, but we'll see if it's cheap. Um, but anyway, so yeah, Tennessee. Really fun. Really beautiful. Bye right, bye. Okay, so a sign that it is very, very cold. I have not moved this ice from the back of my U-Haul and it is still block solid frozen and it's been like three days so yeah just wanted to show you that it's cold outside so i'm not ashamed of getting cabins at all i'm totally fine with it okay anyway super cold all right frozen ice bye on our way to arkansas <laughs> cleo is uh enjoying the car right up front the cats have been doing a lot better so they they get a little more freedom in the car i trust them more so she's attached so she can't do anything to harm me from driving but uh She's in the front. So, anyway. Yep, I'm going to work in that. Morning, guys. Okay, bye. Good morning, guys. Hello. Driving through Arkansas today, heading to Oklahoma. Um, just figured I'd show you a little bit of the um, scenery as I'm driving. It is so beautiful. Like, what a freaking drive to wake up to. It took me on this back road. It's like Highway 9 or something. Sorry, just ignore my cat in the back. Um, but it's all like back road and so you're just driving along the road and you just go through these um, paths of leaves and they just fly up all around you and then the leaves are falling down from the trees and it's just majestic you know and then you have I've got like Lindy Lindsay Sterling playing and so you've got this like soundtrack slash like violin inspirational music going on and it's just amazing. Like, seriously, if I could just wake up and do this every day, like, it would be great. <laughs> but, um, anyway, driving through Arkansas, um, gonna be in Oklahoma tonight, and sorry I didn't really take any video of, um, Hot Springs, um, in the Hot Springs National Park. Uh, they're just, I was at the tower, and there are wasps at the top level, and I just didn't want to be up there for very long, and I was distracted because I was, like, looking for wasps, and then, um, I went down and walked the bathhouse row, but I was kind of in a hurry, so I took a bunch of pictures, and 
couldn't go to any of the bathhouses unfortunately they were all closed so just a heads up for everyone apparently they clean and maintenance them on Tuesdays and that's when I was there and then also I guess a couple of them are under um, like renovation because it's off season now or something so bummer about that so I'll have to go another time but I did buy some like awesome minerals um, like a salt mineral bath and I just brought that back and took a bath at Red Roof and hey whatever it's something so it was relaxing but um, anyway all right, I hope you guys have an awesome day and just wanted to show you a little bit of Arkansas. Super beautiful, home of Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton, Arkansas. Okay, anyway, uh, heading to Oklahoma. All right, bye. All right, so I made it. I'm in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. All right, um, got a cabin again tonight. Doing okay on money, so I figured might as well get a cabin. And um, yeah, it should be an awesome night. It's really nice. I'm not wearing a coat. I'm not wearing a coat. I'm so happy. The happiness in me is bubbling over. I'm not wearing a coat. Morning! Hello! Okay, so, uh, last night was really nice. I stayed in the KOA cabin again in Oklahoma. Um, I think that, like I said in my last video, I really wanted to go to the Oklahoma City Bombing Memorial, but I just don't have time. I have to drive like seven hours today. That's my longest driving day out of the whole trip, so I just, I gotta gotta keep on trucking, you know? Um, but anyway, driving through Oklahoma right now, figured I'd take the video for you guys before I crossed over the state lines. Um, and then eventually I'll be crossing through the tip of Texas, um, through the city of like Amarillo or whatever, and then get to New Mexico and stay in New Mexico tonight. Yay! My like, my skin is tingling and excited. I'm like, yay! I love the Southwest. And so I am so excited to be outside and see the stars and hear the coyotes smell the creosote bushes and oh my gosh I'm just so excited I think I'm totally a desert girl I don't know how that happened but whatever so anyway um I'm moving to Mexico so I've got about six hours to go uh, okay <laughs> all right anyway Oklahoma okay bye I'm gonna spend a night in Sedona before I go to Lindsay's house and I'm um, so excited about that. It's like my favorite place in the whole world. But anyway, last KOA for the trip. It's been awesome. KOAs are really nice. Um, I like state parks better for camping, but for the cabins and just for the on the road travel, it's the KOAs have been really great. So, um, and it's been awesome. I'm getting used to kind of like RV life because this is where I would stay if I had an RV or something. Um, and there's other RV parks, but super peaceful and really beautiful. So I'm excited still gung-ho about the fifth wheel RV life. Um, anyway, okay, onward to Arizona. So excited! I'm sorry, I'm not awake yet. My coffee didn't kick in. <laughs> okay, I got five hours, five and a half hours to go today. All right, bye. Good morning again, driving through New Mexico, heading to, sorry, got cat hair on my face. Uh, driving to Arizona, and I'm just like in love with the view right now. I'm sorry, so I'm videotaping it because it's incredible. 
love it. Oh my gosh, it makes me so happy. It's so beautiful. And the video and the pictures don't do it justice. It's just like amazing. Like I can't even tell you. So anyway, happy to be back in the Southwest with the colors, the mesas, the sunsets, the desert. Oh my gosh, the open, just open plains like this. It's just ah, love. I love it. Anyway, okay, just wanted to videotape really quick because I was just having a happy moment. Okay, bye. More gorgeousness. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. I can't even take it. It's like unreal. So happy. So happy. <laughs> Driving through New Mexico. Gorgeous. Oh, I'm such a happy girl right now. Okay, bye. In Arizona, I'm in Arizona. Just wanted to videotape it for you guys. Hey guys, look. Hey guys. Hey guys. There's pine trees in Arizona. Who knew, right? It's kind of crazy. Everyone thinks it's just desert and cactuses, but there's pine trees and snow. It's gorgeous. So anyway, I'm in Arizona. I'm about 45 minutes away from Sedona. Um, so I'm excited about that. Maybe I'll take a video when I get to Sedona because that's like the Red Rock situation. So that's more Arizona-y looking. But um, again, this is Arizona. Lots of green. So whatever you haters. Um, okay, anyway, I'm super hyper and super happy because I'm in my home. I love it here so much. Okay, bye bye in Arizona. Driving on 17, super freaky. This isn't the freaky part. I would obviously not be holding my phone during the freaky part, but it's crazy. It's like super side windy, you go really slow, you're going completely like straight downhill. So going 17 um, south is pretty crazy if you ever get the chance to do that. But brings you to this beautiful place that I love so much, Sedona. Love it. It's a little bit gloomy of a day, so I'll take a better video tomorrow. Um, even though I've shown you guys Sedona like a million times because I'm obsessed with it. But I just want to show you why I'm so happy. I know it's kind of blurry. Eh. Sorry guys, I don't think you're going to be able to see much in this video. I'll try to take a better one tomorrow. Um, but 17 South is cool. So if you ever get a chance to drive 17 South, it's, it's cool. Just uh, don't be doing anything to be distracted. Hence why I did videotape it. Because <laughs> you could die. It's kind of scary. Um, but yeah, I'm about 10 minutes away from where I'm going to stay and I'll stay there for a night, maybe camp tomorrow and then I'll be gone for three months. So anyway, okay. Bye. Good morning. Hello. I'm in Sedona. I'm so happy right now. I'm very close. I'm only like two hours away from Lindsay's house. Um, I'm gonna go get my zen on at the Peace Park, one of my favorite places in like the whole world until I see the rest of the world. <laughs> and then go to one of my favorite new age shops and drive to Lindsay's. And then I'm gonna relax and hopefully not drive very far for the next few days, just take a little break. But anyway, um, Sedona, beautiful. Maybe I'll take some driving video, depends. Um, but on to Amtibush Jupa. Peace Park. So excited. All right. What a perfect way to end a trip. And my favorite, favorite place in the whole world until I see the rest of the world. But, whew, got emotional there for a second. Um, anyway, uh, I'm home. I'm happy. So it's a perfect way to end a road trip, end of a job, the start of a new job, um, to welcome in new adventures and new opportunities. Um, I love this place. So anyway, 
back home, back in Arizona. All right, now shh, I'm going to meditate. Bye.